Hi guys, this is Sean again. Uh, we're going to um, work on this uh, tablet computer, HP. Um, we're going to work on HP Elite uh, 1012 G2 i5. Um, it has a RAM of 8 GB, 2.6 uh, gigahertz. Um, so this tablet, we're going we're gonna to download Windows 11 in it. So, um, this is a very good computer, so it's going to take a uh, um, few minutes, and uh, I already have a hard drive in it. It's um, uh, SSD, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plug in our USB. It has a Windows 11 in it already, and then we're going to go skip, and on the bottom, save changing and exit, and click that. It's going to ask you save changes. You press yes. And then you press keep pressing F9. On HP laptop, F9 is where it will take you to boot menu. So you click, keep clicking that and it will take you to boot menu. When it goes to boot menu, um, this is our, on the, the, this is our USB. You click select that. And then... You should go. Takes a second, and if sometimes it, if it doesn't go, uh, turn it off and turn back on again. You gotta keep pressing F9 again. For some reason, this uh, tablet asks twice to go to the boot menu. So you do that, and now it's gonna turn on. It should take you to Windows 11. Just few second. Um, sometime uh, if the it uh, if the keyboard doesn't work in it, you gotta hook a you gotta hook a um, dock and use a dock and then plug in the uh, keyboard regular keyboard and then do it. All right, English that you're gonna pick. Um, then install now so this one has already um, window 10 in it so I'm gonna uh, delete that and fresh installed window 11 in it so just give it me a second it's gonna come up all right you select accept it's licensed press next this is custom install window 11 Okay, you're not upgrading, you're installing fresh. This is, has a window 10 in it, so I'm going to delete one by one. You click on it, and then press delete, and press delete, press delete, press one more delete, and that's it. Now press next. So, um, I'm going to pause it, um, and... Uh, when it comes back, I'm going to come uh, show you how to finish it up. All right. Okay. Um, it installed. Now it's going to reset start itself. You can take your USB out now. So um, it's going to take a few more seconds. I'm going to keep talking. Um, just a few more seconds. So it starts itself. Take a few more seconds. All right, I'm gonna pause it. It's gonna take more than a second, so hold on. Okay, so it's gonna start itself now. Uh, it's gonna take a few seconds. Uh, the blue screen will come up, and then what you do is press enter, enter. And the only one thing that I wanted to show you before it finish, that's um, otherwise it can just guide you yourself how to do it so for just one second let me get to the last keep going all right i'm gonna pause it again because it's gonna take a while but 
when the blue screen will come up and we'll be right back okay Okay. So this uh, window sign will come up. You have to connect your computer to your internet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Connect. Then press next. Excuse me. Press OK. Press OK. You don't have to put any password. Um, press OK. And it's going to take a few more minutes. It's almost done. Just a few more minutes. It's a pretty good computer. Um, it's a touch screen. Um, this comes with the, uh, also with the pencil uh, to write. So I love it. So as you know that every new windows they have updates so the last thing what we're gonna do is update this uh, uh, window and it will install all the driver that are missing so what you do when the window um, come up you on the search column you're gonna type in um, updates window updates and uh, then you're gonna go click on the uh, drivers and it will show up how many drivers you need and then you're gonna scroll down and there's another spot there are, there'll be some basic drivers there that you need to download those too and it'll take about some time but you don't have to worry about it you can do your work and it will install itself so I'm gonna just show you how to do it real quick so get ready almost there there it is. So on the search column, type in window update and click on that. And then check the updates. When you do that, it's going to check all the updates, what it needs. And then um just one second uh, all right all right there's all the drivers that needs to be updated it's gonna do itself and the scroll down click on advanced option and you said op uh, op optional updates right here click on that and there says 13 more drivers that you need to um, select and all you select them scroll down and then one more update right here you click download and that's all so it's going to do itself and you can shut it down. All right. Thanks uh, for watching and subscribe and we'll update more videos very soon and like and, you know, share. Thank you.